Today, we're diving into a getting started guide to ClickUp 3.0. I will be taking you through the application from start to finish, showing you the new features and breaking it down into understandable chunks. Today's feature is a paid collaboration between Keep Productive and ClickUp and it serves as a guide for you to understand how to get started. Naturally, if you're interested in finding more about uh, ClickUp, you can go over to Tool Finder for much more detail about the application. But if you're looking to download ClickUp after this video, you can find it linked below. So let's dive into ClickUp 3.io and give you a getting started guide with all you need to know. Use the timestamps to explore this video and uh, feel free to leave any comments and questions below. See you in a minute. Getting started guide to ClickUp 3.0 and I'm going to timestamp everything so you can find out what core features we're talking about. We're going to particularly look at core features like sidebar, inbox, hubs, quick create, and search. You can naturally cover all of those using the following uh, timestamps below. So let's first look at the sidebar. And obviously one thing that's notable is the design is dramatically improved just because before, it was, uh, I guess, slightly more confusing, but this is much more of a clean, structured design. And naturally, it will give you a bit of more of a uh, more overview of everything. You can pop this left-hand sidebar open and you can see all the settings and details on this side. And you can also see all your favorites, spaces, as well as the new core areas that are part of your ClickUp. Now, this is the home area. So this is where you're going to organize some of your work. And naturally, not all of the features are currently available. So you'll be able to get the core experience with some of the beta access, with tasks, uh, some of the home areas as well. Uh, but most of these are rolling out, so just bear that in mind as we explore this. Now, for those who don't know, home is essentially a place where you can plan what's coming up. And you can see here, I've got the lineup, which is your most important task, which can be brought in from uh, different areas that you might have. And you can see that they are able to be pinned up there. Any task that is being maybe commented on a lot or be able to brought up a lot is actually going to come up in trending. And you can also view some of your to do's, comments, done and delegated tasks here. But most of the interaction when it comes to comments and things like that will come through the inbox area, which I'll show you in a moment. If I scroll down, I can see a little bit more about what's been overdue, some tasks and reminders and naturally sort that over here. And if I want to, I could potentially even add a task here, like film click up video, and I can even allocate it to a select list from here. So if I put it in work and tool finder, I'm going to go and hit save. So that task will appear, but this is essentially your agenda for the day. You could see it in agenda view, and you can see anytime you've been mentioned in the top right corner. Now, a few of the changes when it comes to the sidebar as well is you sort of got this top bar now. So in the top right hand corner, you've got the quick action menu, which you can now pin different apps to the top, which is great for easier access and starting new documents, etc. And you've got a few of them there, which you can access. Now, of course, being able to do that will obviously take up your top bar. So you can remove them if you do want to which can help you to view stuff a little bit better. Now, in terms of the inbox, this is available on the left-hand sidebar. You can pop that down if you don't want to see it, which means that you can have a bit of a cleaner experience. But if I go to inbox, this is where all my messages are going to come through. I can see anything that's been cleared or is sat in my inbox. At the moment, I have nothing in my inbox, so a motivational quote will pop up. And you can also see anything that's been filtered to you and any mentions directly of you, as well as filtering to unread. Now, if you've got items in here, you can tick them all off and you can modify your settings as well. So for example, if you don't want to see this 3.0 view, you can remove it, but naturally the transition to 3.0 will just happen very soon. You can modify the notification settings, see it in a non full screen mode or an auto open the sidebar and modify that. But this is what it looks like when you've got uh, details filled up and you can naturally mark it as red, clear them or be able to go into them really easily. Now I'm going to show you this in a moment because of course 
you can now modify details of tasks and the task view is slightly changed. But there is a new area that is available called Docs. So in Docs 3.0, you can view all of the documents that span across your ClickUp account. This is almost a wiki or hub for your experience. So naturally, you can go into there and really take advantage of it. And documents can be associated to anything you're working on. Inside of your ClickUp, a document will look something like this. You can add it to any of the workspaces that you're in. And naturally, a document will allow you to link up tasks or be able to coordinate and even utilize templates for basically saving yourself a bit of time. Here's a process for a new video that you might be working on. And you can see it gives you an outline of some of the assets, like, for example, being able to connect responsibilities up as well. So documents are a really neat feature to be able to uh, take advantage and be able to host people in one location. You should also be able to see whiteboards in there as well, which will save you a bit of time. Now, one of the features that is relatively new is called Quick Create. And if I go to new, I can quick create something. Now, this is really good if you wanna create a document fast and save it to a certain location, add a reminder, which might be due for yourself. You can even use slash command to get the command bar up and connect some options. Even start a chat in a particular workspace that you haven't started and even set it to private and create a whiteboard straight away from here. But one of the most popular ways to do this is actually create a task because you might wanna quickly create a task that you and your team are working on that really just takes advantage of uh, everything. So here I can add the task name, I can say YouTube video and go and add a description. I can even assign it to a person and move it to a certain status. I can give it a due date like tomorrow a priority level like high and a tag like tasks. And I can go ahead and create it. And what it will do is it will land into that area. You can see this is a task that has been created and I can go and modify the details of that task as well. Now, finally, this is the core feature that's been really upgraded is search. And naturally, I believe this was enhanced due to an acquisition that ClickUp made. But you can see here that I can go into and enter stuff. I can tab stuff, which will show it in the command center. And I can really filter stuff down from tasks to docs to comments to dashboards, etc. But this is neat to be able to go into stuff and naturally be able to uh, go and edit that information really fast. And that obviously will work with command K if you're using Mac across the board, which will save you time when you're jumping between stuff. Command K go into bento box and optimize that for the day back over here you can see that task i imported earlier as well so as you can see most of the structure is still very similar to what it was before with the ability to add all of your items along here now of course i can click into a task and see details and this hasn't changed a great deal but some of the iconography has changed i can also still utilize all of the click app functions which i had before i can pop this into a sidebar view as well and i can modify details and add links to the task as well as adding relationships to it like documents waiting on and a whole host of other integrations too details obviously are slightly more refined being able to add Custom fields is something you can really use, like utilize more now, as well as subtasks as well. So you can be able to add a bit more detail. Now, all of the optional settings are still here, which means you can access that. And this naturally is a way to access or still access the feature as this is rolling out. Now, you can also modify the settings to enhance that to what you most like. But all, of course, if I want to up here, I can do some of the quick add, for example, my tasks. I can jump to my task without having to see everything all at once, which is great for maybe not necessarily jumping to the homepage, but if I wanted to be like, okay, what's on my agenda today? And what's my status? I can see it all up here. So ClickUp 3 has added uh, a fair few new features to enhance the experience uh, in the account. Obviously, the infrastructure is not just yeah, that of this time of this doing this review or this overview, it actually isn't available. So this is rolling out still or is coming soon. 
which means that's the stability and structure that they're enhancing to make it a lot faster. But most of the features that were here before are still here, just modified, upgraded, and improved to be able to get a better experience overall. So one of the things to note as well is it's much easier to be able to uh, be able to navigate this account. I find it to be slightly faster. And you can see here that uh, you can still utilize work as an area and be able to bring stuff in that uh, is part of multiple uh, different uh, lists that you have. So that was ClickUp 3.0. Please do let us know if you have any questions. A big thanks to ClickUp for sponsoring this Getting Started Guide. And this should have given you a better idea of how to get started with your ClickUp account and what are the newest features in ClickUp 3.0. Thank you very much, folks. If you're interested, please go over to Tool Finder and naturally find more about ClickUp there. Thank you very much, folks, and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio.